This video shows how to connect two Windows 10 PCs with a remote desktop connection. On the left side I have a Windows 10 PC with Windows 10 Pro Edition. Uh, I'm not sure if it uh, works with the all uh, editions, but it's Windows 10. And there's this window 10 and there's no cable, this co connected with Wi-Fi and this is connected with, uh, with the LAN connection, Ethernet connection. So what we do now first, I'm show it, I will show you especially here on uh, the PC, not on the sc uh, screen uh, recording. We log in into our system, then we go to our uh, to our uh, user that's on the left corner and here we go to change uh, account settings and in the account settings it's important that we have here in our uh, sign in options it has to uh, the user has to have a password so in this case, I entered my test password. Ah, it's entered there. Let's see. Because if you don't have a password, a user and a password, then it doesn't work. Okay, so we need a user and a user, a user has to have a password. Okay, that's the first step. Finish this point. <clears throat> now we go to here with the right mouse key. We go to uh, system, and in the system we have a bit more there. We have advanced settings here on the left corner, and then we go to remote on the top there. And here we find uh, some settings we have to allow it. Let's uh, make a, a, a cross there. And we have to, that point is allow remote connections on this computer. And this one, keep this off. Shouldn't, shouldn't be clicked on there. So say, uh, okay there. Now it, the system is ready. And one more thing. Now we go to uh, here on the uh, taskbar we have uh, on the bottom we will see <clears throat> we have here those a small icon for the LAN or Wi-Fi we click on there uh, take the with the right mouse key here and then open network uh, and sharing center and then you will see here the top block we see um, connections we go there um, to the connection there is one point which is called detail and in detail you will find your uh, address this is uh, 192.168.178.70 so I'm in my home network now that's the number which I have to remember now I go to my PC my other PC there I will say, let's take the other mouse. <coughs> so this one stays there. Uh, and here I would say, <coughs> uh, take Cortana or the search, say uh, remote, re mode. <clears throat> and your, the first point which comes up is remote desktop uh, connection. This is a German system, but it works the same in international systems. And then we have two points. Dialog, which is very important. You have your options. This is important. Options. When you uh, click on there, here we have local resources. The printer and the uh, the clipboard uh, will you if you allow that point then you have um, then you may uh, control C and control V or drag and drop will work on there and 
if you have where's the local resources uh, set up local resources here on further uh, you also may allow that the system there the other that on the other PC my system would be uh, let's say um, mirrored so or mapped so if I activate my uh, my drives here then I will see those drives in the Internet Explorer uh, in the file explorer on the other machine so but I don't need it on the, this point at the moment so these are the options and now what we have to take the here we have to type in as you see there that's the number I've already uh, I once entered it there so you say okay it's one nine two one six eight one and then the extension 70 though this is this is the PC and now you say uh, my actual number name is this one you find what is my name the name is here from my uh, from my machine this one that's when you're there um, <clears throat> the name which pops up then when you come off there so that's the name here this one take this one so this is Raymond and now I, you, all you have to type in is Raymond it doesn't matter this the first point is the machine which where I where I am at the moment you may enter it or not it doesn't matter and you may allow the settings there uh, and you even may save it there so this is a di German dialogue but it's same in English now I connect it now system says oh I made a type error but there's a okay so this is Raymond and now I will say okay my password was test and now when I connect it system connects and it takes the uh, screen from there now when you are here you should uh, do the following click here on intelligent uh, sizing so this is um, important that you uh, that the screen size is there and now what you also will see there you may take here control C for copy something and drag it in there so when you have this uh, what you also may do there if I for example if I copy something here or when I go to my drive file explorer then in this point uh, where's my PC yeah, this is this this PC and if I have mapped my other my drives there then I will those drives will be visible here and I'm also able to take some files from here let's take here um, any small file small file mm -hmm. let's copy this one or an entire drive copy and go there and insert paste so the file uh, goes there so you may switch files between uh, both machines now what happens when I go back on here on my PC when I as soon as I log in here with test then test mistyped so now uh, it's not running as a, a, a mirror, real mirror or bitmapper uh, uh, this is uh, only one screen is active on that point so that's it that's how remote desktop uh, connections work in your local area